Joe, all right, let's move a little closer to home. This week was the ballot deadline here in North Carolina. What's the latest on our election results here? Yeah, absolutely. Every race in North Carolina was won by wide margins, and so there's no question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In the words of the philosopher Mitch Kokai, it's 2020. <laughs> so, of course, we have a few races that are so close at this point, even the counting of the remaining absentee ballots and the provisional ballots leaves some doubt as to whether who, which of the two candidates won. In the chief justice for the state Supreme Court, the current count, as of everything that's been brought in by the Thursday deadline for mail-in absentee ballots, showed Cherry Beasley, the incumbent Chief Justice with fewer than a thousand vote margin over uh, uh, Paul Newby. This is probably going to result in a runoff. Uh, the margin will be so tight that Newby will be qualified to call for a runoff if he chooses to, but certainly will fall within that margin. The only other race really uh, up in the air still is that for Attorney General, uh, Josh Stein, the incumbent Democrat, up by just around 15,000 votes over Jim O'Neill, a district attorney from Forsyth County. Uh, it looks like all of the other races have finally been satisfied. Some of the very close legislative races also, I think, are now completely counted. And there's no question in terms of the Republican majority in the General Assembly. Uh, right. Kudos to all of the election officials of very difficult circumstances. The volunteers and paid staff that went through this week counting ballots a did a tremendous job. job. It's a tough job.